Hey, what is up awesome people? Shady Wags with Got Your Back Gaming, and I have created a space base, or a space station, whatever you want to call it. It's a base way up in the sky, and I'm going to take you up there and show you what it looks like. I'll also share with you some tips on how to build one of these if you want to, because it's definitely not a walk in the park, and I'll also be giving you some of my opinions on this base setup. There are two ways you can travel up there. One is by vehicle using the ramp, and the other way is flying up there. To start this ramp, all I did was begin flattening a road from the area directly adjacent to my first habitat area, which was very flat. Once I had the path going, it was really simple just to keep using the level tool to continue extending the ramp further and further out. I would extend the ramp as far as I could while remaining tethered to the truck, and then once it was out of range, I'd go back to the truck and pull it up to the end of the ramp and then begin extending again. The ramp does eventually get so steep that the truck will begin rolling back as soon as you get out of it. If you just let it roll back, it will stop. There is an area around you where the rules of gravity apply. Things will fall, bounce, fly, roll. But once things are out of that area, those rules just stop. And so does the object wherever it was when it exits that area. That's where it's going to stop. And once it enters that area, it begins moving again. That's how you end up with vehicles stuck in the air. They either begin falling down or flying up, and as soon as they exit that area around you, they just stop. So they end up frozen in midair. So as long as you stay away from that truck, it's not going to roll back anymore. At that point, I created a platform off the side of the ramp and built a wall on the side of it. Then I went back and got the truck and drove it onto that platform to prevent it from rolling away. Then I began using tethers off of the truck to allow me to continue extending the ramp further and further. Once I was out of tethers, I'd make another platform off the side of the ramp, go back and get the truck, drive it onto the new platform, Go back down to the first platform, remove it, pick up all the tethers, and then start the process all over again. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Eventually you reach a point that the truck will not be able to drive up the ramp any further. This is where I would build the platform for the base. You can go up quite a bit further, but you're going to have to use tethers to get up there. And once you're at the very top, you won't be able to terraform up any further. You can though begin terraforming back down. To get a relatively flat area, I extend a wall out from the ramp. And then from the bottom of that wall, I build another wall. And that's going to form a V-shape. I transport a habitat up to this new V-shape structure and place it down so it rests in the middle of that V and hit the button to place it. From the habitat base, I then begin flattening out and eventually this is what I ended up with. There's really nothing special about this base, other than it's a platform way up in the air. Um, it does have some absolutely amazing views though. I know someone's gonna say, well you put this station wrong, or this is missing, or whatever. I honestly didn't care where I put any of the stations up here because I knew this was a base I wasn't gonna be using. It is so difficult to terraform up here because you can't get a view of the sides and the bottom, and it's tough to build walls or ceilings properly off of this platform. Although I was able to get some really nice lines and I think anyone who has attempted to terraform like this can appreciate that. But for practicality, this is just not a base I would recommend. You could drive up here and you can fly up here, but it was such a hassle to build this thing, I would never do it again. At one time I had five rovers stuck in midair where they rolled off the side of the ramp and the only way to get those things back is to take another vehicle off the side and try to fall near the stuck vehicle to get it into that area of gravity again. But sometimes you get kicked out of the rover and then you end up with two stuck rovers. At one time when I was trying to recover my rovers, I got kicked out. Luckily I was able to pull off some crazy action film stunt and jump back into the rover not once, but twice. I was able to get two rovers unstuck at the same time. When I started this base, I had one truck and one rover. And by the time I finished this thing, I had two trucks and five rovers, and I still have one truck stuck up there in space. You can fly up to the base, and as we make our way around here, it does show up on the map, and I'll go ahead and land. 
and you can do a pretty awesome power slide all the way back down to the surface but overall again this is just not really something i think is practical or i would ever use i personally think it's probably the worst base ever i hope in the future maybe they implement some type of real space station so let me know what you guys think about the space station do you think it is a base you would attempt to build or do you think it's the worst base ever like i do if you found this information useful I would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button, or if you're that one guy who always hits the thumbs down, go ahead and do that too. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.